Sometimes companies make mistakes. Shocking, right? The kind of mistakes we're talking about are when companies fail to make adjusting entries, causing their revenues to be overstated or understated. And not the kind of overstatement like when your 12-year-old self told your mom you would literally die without the new One Direction CD. We're talking about when revenues are recorded as being higher or lower than they actually are. So what happens when companies understate their revenues? Since revenues increase net income and expenses decrease net income, we can tell right away that understating revenues will have the opposite effect as understating expenses and the same effect as overstating expenses. That is, our net income will also be understated this period and will be overstated next period, correcting itself in retained earnings over multiple periods. What can cause companies to understate their revenues? Two common culprits are when companies fail to record a revenue that they've earned but they haven't been paid for, or if they fail to adjust for a revenue that was previously deferred. For example, Muffin Top could deliver $20,000 worth of crop tops to Mooses with Cabooses, who promised to pay back the $20,000 next quarter, and fail to record this revenue because they haven't received any cash yet. Recall that with accrual-based accounting, Muffin Top should recognize revenues when they've delivered the crop tops to Mooses with Cabooses, regardless of when cash is received. Or the company could have an unearned revenue of $50,000 from last year when customers paid for a year-long subscription to their monthly Sexy Saddle Club, which the company forgets to transfer from unearned revenue to revenue to account for the fact that this revenue has been earned. Let's trace the effect of understating revenue in the crop top example. Understating revenue by $20,000 will cause net income to be understated by $20,000 this quarter, which causes the ending balance in retained earnings for the quarter to also be understated by $20,000. Next quarter, when Muffin Top receives cash from Mooses with Cabooses, they'll remember to credit their revenues for $20,000, causing revenue to be $20,000 higher than it should have been, because this $20,000 should have been recorded last quarter, according to accrual-based accounting. So revenues for next quarter will be overstated by $20,000, causing net income to be overstated by $20,000 as well, wiping out the impact on retained earnings by the end of next quarter. Finally, let's try an example where revenues are overstated. Overstating revenues should have the opposite effect as understating revenues, or you can think about it as having the same effect as understating expenses. That is, it'll cause net income and retained earnings to be overstated, and next period it'll cause net income to be understated. Retained earnings will eventually balance out over multiple periods. Companies can overstate their revenues if they mistakenly record a cash payment as revenue, even though it hasn't been earned yet, or if they transfer too much of their unearned revenue liability to their revenues before it's been earned. Suppose Muffin Top sells tickets to next month's Halloween charity event called Moose Bumps. It collects $30,000 in cash, so it debits cash for $30,000, and mistakenly credits revenue for $30,000. The company shouldn't record this as revenue until they actually earn it. That is, when they throw the event. Instead, they should have credited unearned revenue a liability account that signifies that Muffin Top has yet to earn this revenue until they throw the event. So this month, it will have overstated its revenues by $30,000. This will cause net income to be overstated by $30,000 and retained earnings to be overstated by $30,000. Next month, on October 31st, the company will throw the event, but will not record any revenue as it otherwise should have. So its revenues will be understated by $30,000 causing net income to be understated by $30,000 and retained earnings to return to its normal balance. Hopefully, by looking at these four cases of adjusting entry mistakes, which can lead to overstatement or understatement of revenues and expenses, you can see how you don't need to memorize the effect of each case on different accounts. Determining the impact on a company's financial statements is as simple as following the chain reaction. But you know what isn't an overstatement? How we would be nothing without your support. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel and checking out our other videos. Thanks for watching! So what happens when cus- So what happens when cus- So what happens when cus-